this is how I set a Nash choker loop mold trap. Put the front edge of the trap on a sturdy table. The back edge of the trap rested on your thigh. Have the trigger arm forward. Push straight down evenly on both sides. Have your fingers out to the side. Push it all the way down. Flip that trigger arm or trigger rod. Flip it back. Hold down pressure with one hand while you fit the trigger rod into the notch on the trigger. And it takes a lot of pressure to hold this down because these springs are strong. So once that's on there all the way, keeping your fingers clear, release the tension. And at no point do you ever want to put your fingers in through the loops because if the trap happens to go off, it's going to break your fingers. So let me get it reset and then we'll put it in the ground and hopefully catch a mole. Once you do it a few times, it gets a lot easier. You can safely grab the trap back here once you have it set and see how the trigger kind of drifts around a little bit. Kind of goes one way or the other. You're gonna want it right in the middle. So let's go put it in the ground, catch a mole. Right here's where I'm gonna set the trap. This is an active mole tunnel and I know that because we got heavy rain last night and since then the mole has pushed the dirt up. You can see a fresh crack right here. So using the handle of a masonry trowel, I'm going to push that dirt down to collapse the tunnel and this is where the trigger is going to set and then when the mole comes back through to clear the tunnel and pushes up the dirt the dirt should hit the trigger and set off the trap using that same masonry trowel i'm going to mark where slots need to be cut that's where the loops are going to slide down into now i'm going to make them a little bit deeper and wider And now carefully, once again, not putting my fingers through the loops. Push the trap down, being careful that nothing hits the trigger. And the trigger drifted a little off center. I'm going to carefully push it back over the hole that I created. I'm going to leave it right there. When the mole comes back through, it should push up the dirt, hit the trigger, set off the trap. And we should catch the mole. All right, so next morning we did get heavy rain last night, which kind of compressed everything. But first thing this morning, it looks like that mole came back through, pushed up the dirt as you can see, that tripped the trigger, the loops pulled up, and I would imagine it looks like he came in from this side, so we should have a mole right here. Let's see if it got him. There he is, right here. I don't know what YouTube's policy is on showing dead moles, but the trap did work. All right, I took a break for a few minutes and looked at a couple of videos to answer my own question. Will YouTube allow you to show a dead mole in a trap in a video? And the answer is yes. So here is the one we caught with this Nash Choker Loop Mole Trap. The spring action pulled those loops up. Caught the mole right across here and crushed him to death. I'll put a link down below to a web page where you can buy this trap and once again for the last time be careful do not put your fingers down in here while you're setting it and after you have it set when you're putting it in the ground because if you have your finger or hand in there and it snaps back on you it's probably going to break your fingers and the last thing the first few times i set this trap i used a flathead shovel to cut the slots but then i tried this large masonry trowel and it is the perfect size to cut the slots for those loops and it cuts through the dirt very easily and there is a tool made especially for cutting slots for this mole trap, but it's pretty expensive. So a large masonry trowel should work for you. And like you saw, I used the handle to collapse the tunnel. So this has worked well for me. That's it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.